And welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Steven Subtick. And I'm Candace Carazales. If you know anything about President Trump's counselor, Kellyanne Conway, it's that her TV appearances usually raise more questions than answered. You go into an interview with her, hoping to understand the administration a little bit better, and you come out wondering, is it actually possible to spy on someone using a f***ing microwave? Well, Kellyanne seems to think so. In the past couple of weeks, every news outlet and their mothers covered Trump's allegations against Obama. If for some reason you haven't been beaten over the head with information about the allegations, here's the beating. President Trump read a Breitbart article and concluded that the Obama administration wiretapped Trump Tower. There's a lot more to the story. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description to watch our previous video on the subject. <laughs> After the dust settled, everybody wondered how. Even the Obama administration was like, how? Once again, if you want more info on the difficulty of wiretapping an American citizen, check out the link in the description to the previous video of this story we did. Um, but the point is that it's a goddamn hard one to get approval to wiretap a U.S. citizen. And back to you, sup dick. The weather's been mad lately. I can't find anybody. So without evidence, Kellyanne Conway once again seemed like she'd be backed into a corner. But once again, again, Conway is a queen of the corner. During a recent interview about the wiretapping allegations, Conway dropped a devastating factoid that opened the eyes <laughs> of the public forever. Do you know whether Trump Tower was wiretapped? What I can say is there are many ways to surveil each other, uh, any number of different ways, and microwaves that turn into cameras, etc. That that brings new meaning to the term Newcomb. Oh, that you do, brings, the, do it with, yeah, no, yeah. Brand, that brings new meaning to the term Newcomb. No, I just, you, is that I feel like the enunciation is the issue right now. Brings new meaning, what do you want to? No, that was fine. Brings no meaning to the term Newcomb, and then that's referring to the microwave. Damn, that was good. Yes. That's right. Conway suggested that perhaps the Obama administration bugged Trump's microwave. However, today she doubled back and told CNN, I'm not Inspector Gadget. I don't believe people are using the microwave to spy on the Trump campaign. As it turns out, I'm not Inspector Gadget is the first piece of information Conway has ever confirmed. And when asked to provide evidence regarding Trump's allegations, Conway responded with, I'm not in the job of having evidence. That's what investigations are for. I mean, She's not wrong. Her job is to spread baseless information. Nobody should expect the spokesperson of the president to be in the business of providing evidence. <sighs> that hurt me a little bit to say. I mean, obviously she herself wasn't making the wiretap allegations, but she's doing these interviews to defend the president. So what's the point if there's nothing to defend him with? That's why I'm making allegations right now against my coworker, Candace Carrizales. And I'm afraid to inform you all that Candace has hemorrhoids. You spelled it hammerheads. You spelled it hammerheads. And thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments what wacky ways you'd spy on somebody. I'm Steven Subtick. And I'm Smooth Anthony Jones. Candace Gerzales. <laughs> Where did this wiretapping fiasco even start? Well, Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee told ABC News that Trump didn't have the idea in the first place. Before the call, Obama put sanctions on 35 Russian diplomats for their alleged meddling in the 2016 election, and Flynn was reportedly discussing the possibility of these sanctions. 